Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Keto Cooking. Welcome back, Keto Cooking. I'm Tom, the Keto Cook. Today we're going to be discussing meat prices. They are absolutely through the roof. Now, I buy in bulk so I can cut it up myself and I pack my freezer that way. Uh, sometimes it's a lot cheaper, but now it's getting to be out of hand. And everybody's feeling the crunch. I don't, I don't know how some large families deal with it, but they got you. So being on keto and watching what you eat, I mean, <laughs> they, really have, they really have you. But I noticed pork has been a little bit cheaper than beef, even cheaper than chicken some, in some cases. So you got to go what you can afford. So I, like I said, I butcher it myself and I pack it in the freezer. This way we're good for a month or so. And being that there's just two of us, it works out. But the prices are nuts. And you see, a, a spare ribs, two in a pack, thirty-one dollars. Uh, my price that they, I got it that day was for twenty dollars. That's ten dollars a spare, rib, which sometimes ain't good. Now, other things I do, I make homemade mayonnaise. Okay, um, this way I know exactly what the ingredients are. One cup of avocado oil, one large egg, apple cider vinegar quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt that I use. And I blend it. That's it. Now, that'll last up to 14 days, two weeks, but we, we usually use it in that time. And uh, very cost-effective. Plus, uh, there's no hitting ingredients. It's not short uh, shelf stable again if I could talk I'd be worth money now I got this ham on sale half price I believe it's a seven pound ham almost eight pounds now I'm gonna have the family over my grandsons my daughter over first dinner so we'll be cooking this up and then I'll be slicing it Now I cook it ahead of time, and then I will uh, take it off the bone, and I'll be putting it on my slicer. Nice even slices. Good job. Put it on my slicer and slice it up. Nice. Even slices. And it goes into the pan. Now, I don't want to kill it, but I just get it heat up, put a little, uh, little brown to it, flip it around a little bit. And this is good. It's great to have my family around, the boys. They don't eat keto, so there you see little potatoes. But now, if push come to shove, now if I wanted to have uh, some potatoes, they're the fingerling potatoes, the purple, red, and yellow. Pretty small, so if I had a little bit, it wouldn't bother uh, my uh, sugar levels. But I tell you what, they smell really good. Very tempted to have them. But there again, you can you can get away with it. There's the finished product. Potatoes look really good. And they're not for me, but for that guy. That guy. He's the one who asked for it. <laughs> My two grandsons. Boy, I enjoy having them around. But this guy can have the potatoes. Nope, can't do it. Hey, listen, thanks for watching. This is a quickie. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Keto Cook, Keto Cooking for Diabetes. 
Enjoy.